Right. So uh, let's talk about how we can, uh, let's go back to uh, lights and talk about how we can create and uh, manipulate lights. So when we first uh, did this, when we did the like first uh, little section of this project, we created a light up here on the Redshift menu. We said uh, add an RS light and it creates a light down here in our network. And if we select it and grab this manipulator icon here, we kind of pulled it back in space and got it like this. So we can move that around, etc. One of the ways that I uh, like to create lights that's different is I actually like to create lights from the view. So you could actually do something like this. If we wanted to create a uh, rim light, we could come back here and kind of see where our camera is. I like to kind of pick it, pick a good camera angle that seems like it might work for a rim. And then if I go up here to the shelf menu instead and control click on the redshift light, it creates a light in the current view from where we just were. And you can see that it has locked our view. Um, it has locked that light's position to our view and everything like that. Uh, so when I move around, that light moves as well. So let's just uh, turn on the IPR so we can kind of see that in action. So you can kind of see, uh, you can see that sometimes by it, it accidentally grabs the camera view that we're in, uh, which is wrong. We're in the we're we're looking through a light. We don't want to render through there. So if that ever happens, just go to this second little drop down and reselect camera one. Make sure you're on camera one like that. So now that we're here, we've got this view. We can scroll around and you can see that uh, we are effectively updating the rim lighting on the edge of this object just by moving our uh, our cam our camera view around like this. So that's a way that I kind of like to um, make some of my uh, lights. I might adjust my other light by uh, selecting from this drop down right here. I can choose look through light and maybe grab that first light that we created and start looking through that one and adjusting it as well. So maybe it's just a little too high here. I can just kind of pull back and come off to the side a little bit more to uh, make that light, uh, the lighting a little bit more um, dramatic. You can kind of see that happening like so. Let's do something like something like that for right now. Yeah, there we go. And when you're happy with that, you can just uh, untick the lock and pop out and see that your lights are sort of positioned like so. And uh, that's kind of just a, one of the ways that you can kind of move your lights around in your scene. Another way of creating a light is to actually just go over here in the tab menu and start typing uh, light. So light. Now, if you type down light, you're going to get like all sorts of stuff here. You get light, light temperature. A lot of these lights are actually just built in um, lights th that are built into like mantra and stuff like that. So to actually get redshift stuff, I like to type in RS and then you get the RS light and all that. So it just kind of needs that RS string. But if you wanted to create another area light, you could do it this way and boom, you've got another area light that's just uh, located at the center of your scene as if you had created it from the drop down menu up here.